Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, we're going to go through the Forex market outlook. We're going to identify some key charts. And for me, really, the dollar is going to be of main focus. We haven't really seen too many cross pairs trending lately. And the dollar is at a key level, which is super interesting, um, along with some seasonal data. So we've got on the right hand side here some US dollar index seasonality Um and it is a 20 year uh, range ended in 2019. So pretty up to date seasonal analysis or seasonal data for us. And we can see in September, we were looking for those long opportunities, okay? And we were looking for the potential for the dollar to rally up. And we didn't really get the rally that we were looking for. And again, just to kind of reiterate, this seasonality just usually shows us tops and bottoms in the markets, never really um, shows us the move that's going to come and obviously we have a uh, unprecedented year in terms of we have uh, the COVID-19 outbreak as well so seasonality may be thrown off a little bit through that or the moves that we're expecting may not be as big as, as what we would typically look for but however looking at this bit of information here I can see that in November we typically see a top in the US dollar and we see some downside and we have been seeing downside in the US dollar and that's also reflected on the strength and weakness table going into this week the dollar is the biggest loser of the week and everything else hasn't really budged surrounding that so the dollar is at a interesting point and it's going to be a bit of a talking point for us going into this week if we just minimize these, we have the US dollar index. And what I wanted to highlight was the fact that $92 really for me is going to be one of the key levels to watch. We can see that previously the market has bounced at these areas. We can also see that most recently, the most recent sort of uh, monthly or weekly low was around about $92 as well. So this level to me is super important. And if the dollar index is going to continue um, or the dollar bearishness is going to continue, then $92 is the level I'm going to watch for the breakout. And if we were to get a breakout of that level, dollar could really be pushing towards these 88 levels, which we haven't seen since the start of 2018. So really 92 is going to be the big talking point for me this week if we can break through that dollar weakness is going to continue if we reject that i think we're going to see some bullishness out of the us market now obviously i'd only expect it up towards this 95 area this previous high if it drops we've got sort of first targets being 90 dollars or 91 dollars and then if it continues, we've got sort of $88 lows. But just the way the market's moving at the moment just suggests to me that we could see some further downside on the US dollar index. Now, what does that mean for us going into this week? Well, we are looking at some kind of uh, the dollar reversals in terms of we're looking for that dollar strength just because we have sort of the euro over here where the market has come up into some key levels. And this is what's happening really across the most major currency pairs. Prices coming up into key areas of support and resistance, just like the dollar index. And what we need to identify is how is that dollar index shaping in order for us to look for moves. Now, we're looking for some short-term downside here on Euro, perhaps back into these lows. However, if dollar starts breaking that 92 and you know we could really see some upside to continue in this place. And this is why it's $92 for me is going to be so key because it's going to give us the direction that we've been looking for. Now, typically we do tend to see the market start trending throughout December. So it's going to be interesting to see how the markets react to these key levels because not only is euro dollar at a level, dollar CAD is at a huge level, which we pointed out last week. And we're at this sort of 1.3 level um, where the market has really bounced and reacted from in the past numerous amounts of times. We had this really nice uh, weekly bullish candlestick the week prior. This week, very low ranging, nothing really going on. Daily time frame, what we were looking for was the market to start giving us some bullish price action. And what we looked for was a four hour change in cyclicity. So if we do start seeing the cycle changes, if we do start seeing the markets creating higher highs on these sort of four hour time frames, that could give us a sign that we are going to see that rejection of the $92 level. If we don't, then I would expect that the four hour trend is trying uh, 
trend to continue. So at the moment we have this going on in dollar CAD. If it breaks sort of 130, 130, look for that further potential long position. However, if that dollar does just slide past $92, which it could really do considering the seasonality, we're going to be seeing some further downside to these markets as well. So really want to just eye up sort of these key areas. Kiwi, again, another market that's back at some key area of the structure. What we may actually get is the dollar break 92 very early. So if the market breaks 92 early, but then gives us a bullish candlestick, like a false breakout on the dollar index, perhaps, we may start seeing some false breakouts on our majors. So what I'm really looking for here on Kiwi is if is it going to give us a little bit of a false breakout here? Is the market breaking above these highs? Potentially going to reject it. And then are we going to see some further downside? Because the dollar, like I said, is at that huge, huge level. Unfortunately, when price comes into these levels, you have to ask yourself the question, is it going to break? Is it going to bounce? Strength and weakness to me and the seasonal charts suggest that potentially it's going to break. However, how many times have we seen the seasonal pattern play out this year? Not very often. Okay, So we need to be uh, available or aware of both situations is the market going to break and close that 92 level if it does we're looking for further dollar weakness to come into play if it bounces from it holds above it expect some dollar bullishness dollar at a really key point thanks for watching this video update i'll speak to you soon